Hi Pisces and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. I'd just like to say thank you so much for your support, for your donations, likes, comments and subscribes. It really means a lot. And welcome to the channel if you're new. So this is the general reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus for May 2021. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Remember it's general. It won't resonate with all of you. So I'm excited to use this new deck um, that I was gifted recently by Tomiko. So thank you very much again for those. And this is the good tarot that we're going to use today. Really beautiful cards. So what do we need to know that's coming in for Pisces? Okay, so we've got the Hierophant at the bottom of the deck. Some of you may have been through some life lessons um, and this is on your mind at the moment. Maybe you felt a bit stuck in your head. You've wanted a new beginning. For some of you this could have been a marriage, or it could be a marriage right now that you feel stuck in. Just having a look here at the cards. I'm really sensing a change for a lot of you. Um, it's sort of a, what a lot of you want, if that's not actually happening right now. The first card would show the main energy, the Eight of Cups. So that is clarifying that, that a lot of you are spiritually evolving and you're looking at that ship, you know, you want to move on, you want to travel, um, come out of that stuck energy. Some of you may have been purging recently, some things have come up for you. You may need to communicate, there's a lot of blue um, in these cards. Yeah, awakening energy here. So you're being guided um, to make this change in your life. Some things might have happened uh, recently in your life that were challenging. This is for some of you, okay? Um, but it was for your higher good. Okay, so yeah, a little bit of conflict in some of you about making this move. Um, I feel for some of you it's around finding peace within. Um, we've got all these doves in this card, beautiful. You might be seeing birds um, as well as a sign in terms of how to move forward. You know, there's like, like here the energy of this graceful dancer, but She's like a bird flying. This is what a lot of you want to do. Yeah, you want things to work out for you. You want victory. There's a lot of travel energy here. Um, some of you, I feel you've got this urge to move forward in some way. You've got ideas in terms of how to do this. So yeah, some loneliness coming through for some of you. Um, this is, again, maybe that lesson, what you've needed to go within um, and come into your divine masculine energy with the Emperor here. Finding the, 
the courage to move forward is, is strongly coming through for a lot of you. Yeah, I'm really getting birds. Some of you might love birds. Uh, you love nature. And you're getting signs. So look out for those. Now the Emperor, um, if you feel you're a twin flame, can be the Divine Masculine coming towards you. Now maybe you've not been talking for some time. And they find the courage to come back into your life as well. We've got Aries energy and Scorpio here. Okay, yeah, a divine connection for some of you with that Hierophant. So I'm going to clarify the Emperor with my Sibylla cards. Yeah, okay, so this is, for some of you, a few different stories because obviously it's general. For some of you, this emperor um, has been married and he's gone through an ending separation. That's one story. Now, another one is some of you, as we got before the Hierophant, are married. And this is what you want. You want to break free from that connection. Um, I just feel the energies are off. This is what I'm getting for some of you here. You're getting that urge to move forward. Yeah, that's what I keep getting um, coming through here. And with the five of earth can indicate um, you know, basically leaving someone. Let's have a look at that Five of Earth. Yeah. See the image there? He's, he's turning his back on this situation. No longer serves him or, or she. Some of you have... Um, been deceiving yourselves, I feel, in terms of what you want, and this is the time to break free. There might have been some deception, some betrayal that some of you found out about. Uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, then. Yeah, there's definitely an element of unhappiness coming through. Single energy now. So this, this seems to be the main story, I feel, for the month, for a lot of you, wanting to break free. And the Six of Fire as well can, can indicate um, a marriage. So that keeps coming through here. Let's have a look at the Six of Fire. Wow. Reconciliation. Okay, yeah, now the Six of Fire can also indicate a reconciliation, a divine union. Um, so this is what um, some of you want to move forward um, to, you know, to, this, to, to a person. So we've got Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, energy. This comes as a surprise to a lot of you in divine timing. Um, it's, it's really to do with spiritual growth a lot of the time. I find when we've been through those lessons that like I said about and we decide to break free, um, then the, when the energies are right, you know, then this can happen. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really sensing a, a far, quite a fast change happening for some of you, potentially. But some of you will be up and down about this. Um, there's something in the way. 
So again, it could be this connection. Some of you are in, you know, this marriage. Yeah, loss of money. So for some of you, obviously a divorce, Separation can indicate losing money, um, if that's what you decide to do. This could be the other person, by the way, and um, there's a delay to this ending at the moment. And I feel, because this is often the case, I feel it's to do with these spiritual lessons, spiritual growth, um, that when that has all happened, then the new beginning can come, let's say. Um, let's, let's have a look at the potential outcome for you, Pisces. So, interesting, we got two major arcana, so quite a powerful message here. Um, a lot of you are being guided to soul search, find your answers within, in terms of what you want. Seems to be the main message here, doesn't it? This moving forward, spiritually, finding the key to your happiness. We've got a lot of keys here. And who has the key to your heart? That's what I'm hearing here. Um, with the door, again, I'm getting that some of you have some things that come out that were hidden maybe for, for some time. Um, and again, this was a lesson. We're getting the Hierophant again. A lifelong lesson, um, a life lesson, sorry. Um, that the divine brings you so that you can again spiritually grow okay um can indicate a marriage high level commitment and we've got the king of fire here notice the heart so this is someone who wants to open their heart to you um, they're going to communicate with vision, know what they want. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, which we had here as well. Some are very protective. Um, there could be an age gap here. Um, I'm strongly getting Leo, actually. Uh, Taurus, Virgo. Now... I keep knocking this card, it's quite interesting, Spirit wants me to do that. Two of air here showing a crossroads, a decision that some of you clearly need to make. And we've got the King of Water here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So your energy I'm getting um, in particular Tapping into how you feel, I think, is the message here. Go with that. Go, go within to find your answers. With two kings, um, there's no gender in tarot. So this could be, you know, two people um, is, what, is what I think spirit wants you to know here. One I feel is new. Uh, and one is potentially this person you're with or someone from your past. It's really coming through there. Okay, so let's get some Romance Angels for Pisces. There we go, there's that decision. Release your ex. 
So it's either, as I said, someone you're with right now, or it's the energy of the past that a lot of you are being guided to try and let go of. So yeah, take time out. It's the guidance here. It's time to disconnect from the world. Go within with that hermit. Um, just, you know, meditate, go out in nature, tap into how you're feeling. So keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type. Yeah. You're going to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with this person. Um, but this is where I feel... And those emotions might come out for some of you because for some of you maybe a little bit um, sort of hold back a little bit with your emotions and what you, what you share and this is because of what you've been through in the past these life lessons amazing we've got wedding so Hierophant wedding strong message there of a higher level commitment in the future but it could be that this situation involves marriage as I was feeling before if it's not you then it's this person um, they need to end something first of all okay let's get um, a spirit animal oracle card any other messages So we'll take that one. says turn knowledge into wisdom yeah now the hermit you know really reminds me of the hermit um, when you go within you find that inner wisdom so strong message there and we've got the cow spirit the miracles are endless that's beautiful 15 breaking down to a 6 for love um, so yeah, some of you might have lost hope a little bit, wondering if you know anything's going to happen. And that's why you're also being told to keep an open mind, because things will change. I do sense that we had two fives come out there, and yeah, the bottom of the deck, seahorse spirit, watch and wait. There you go. There's confirmation um, of things changing. Now we've got an 8, 53, breaking down to an 8, like the 8 of water. So as you start to detach from your past, spiritually evolve, you're being told, watch and wait. Um, with the seahorse, I'm also feeling emotions resurfacing. Um, for some of you as I was feeling before so there may be yeah maybe a little bit of purging things that triggers maybe that come out okay I'm going to take some uh, nature's whispers as well anything else for Pisces Okay, we got some in the end. So we got leap of faith, first of all. So showing that the guidance here is to go for it. Um, now this is amazing, 
the way the imagery in these two is quite similar. Notice, you know, here she's dancing and here as well, she's flying free. This is what I'm feeling for a lot of you. You, you want to break free, you're being told to go for it, if that's what you want. Um, yeah, finding the magic in life again. Transformation, I've got butterflies there. Um, some of you are a little bit scared, because notice she's on a tightrope, but we've got a net here. So spirit's got your back. 22, master number there, so spiritual growth. We've got be in service. Now this is amazing, the synchronicities, another seahorse. So this could be maybe your spirit animal. Um, so here you're being guided to um, maybe reach out to someone, um, or maybe some of you work in service, you know, helping other people, and also looking at what you want, I think is, is the message here, diving deep, those emotions again. And that's beautiful card here. Um, so we've got a bird again, which we had here. A lot of synchronicities in this reading. Um, flying free really is the message I'm getting. The guidance is love matters. So yeah, follow your heart, how you feel within. There is love on the way. Interesting, we've got two birds. So again, there's that choice. You know, that two of air, which one? Um, and here actually we've got birds. Some of you may, yeah, maybe birds are a sign that you're seeing as well, two birds. I feel for some of you this person is at a distance from you. You may be dreaming about this person. It's a spiritual connection We've got 43 breaking down to a seven. Okay. I'm really getting the initial S coming through. F and L. Okay, Pisces. So I hope you've enjoyed the reading. Please do comment if it resonates. Sending you all lots of love and I'll see you next time.